Barbara Newman. I'm the principal here at Explore Middle School. Donna Curran, math teacher, pre-algebra and algebra. Michelle Sonar, I teach pre-algebra math at Explore Middle School. Before I had McGraw-Hill education, the problems that we may have had were not enough resources, that we were limited to the textbook. The kids were coming to us and there were certain standards that were changed grade levels. And so for that reason, our teachers needed to be sure that the kids had the background information that they needed, while at the same time moving forward with what they were supposed to teach this year. The kids really didn't have an opportunity to use any other electronic and online resources that they've grown up using, so they really are in touch with that. McGraw-Hill Education has really provided that resource. The curriculum is very sequenced, um, very well laid out, and resources, an abundance of resources for us to use. I think the rigor is is really one of the elements that's crucial because students can get used to something at one level but when you do things at the depth of knowledge that McGraw-Hill education brings in that really makes a big difference. It's not about just finding the right answer and getting a calculation. It's really about thinking it through and really applying it to real world examples. It tests them and it improves them as students because if they're not challenged you don't grow if you don't stretch, and this really helps them to stretch and grow. In math, you get frustrated a lot, and Glenco Math, I think, helps you more fluently understand math in an easier way. I like the tutor they show you how to do it, because like, if you don't get something on your homework, they like, show you how to do each example. Their examples are fun. Does that make sense? I like their examples. Um, I like how it's online and in paper, because I just feel like if you leave your book like at school or anywhere else, you still have it online. I find engagement at various levels, so sometimes it's one of the problems that can really spark a really heated discussion. We can take off on one element and spend 15 minutes on that. Other times we can use several problems to back up something that we've learned. The technology is huge right now in this generation. They want a computer. They want a device in their hands. So if we can get them to pull up a textbook at home, um, use the tutorials at home, um, there's extra homework practice, it's just a relief. It kind of gives me data to support what I need to know to help them be successful. Data doesn't just tell us what they learn, but it also tells us, it informs us as to what we do need to continue or instruct the next day. Um, so for us, it helps with differentiation. And so that's where the data has been key, is to be able to further the learning of those that already seem to know what they need to have, and it's also being able to intervene so those kids can get to where they need to be so that they can continue with their learning as well. Glencoe Math has definitely shown me what kids can do. It's really raised that bar and um, given me tools to build confidence in my students. There's a lot more discussion going on. There's a lot more inquiry going on in math. Um, there's a lot more investigation. I think the most rewarding part is when you see the light bulbs go off and the kids go, oh, I totally didn't understand that and now I do. It does get them talking about math, which is what we want. That's our goal.